Before there was Surefire, Streamlight, or even the term Taglight, there was Maglite, the OG, founded in 1979. Maglite was the first mass-market duty flashlight made with aerospace-grade aluminum and pioneering the use of ultra-bright bulb technology. This is the new LED Maglite Mini AAA, and I'm going to explain why this is quite literally the flashlight all others should be compared against. But before we do that, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you're new to this channel. Okay, no unboxing today because I threw away that ugly blister pack when I got this a year ago. So, but hey, this is what it looked like. It's really simple. You just put batteries in, you twist the top to turn it on, and twist the top to turn it off. Simple. Done. Twisting the top not only turns it on, but allows you to focus the hot spot or make it more diffuse. And then a twist in the opposite direction turns it off. Even though it's only 100 lumens, I was able to illuminate the top of a pine tree 30 feet away, but the tree 65 feet away, not so much. So this is IPX4 rated, which means that it can withstand splashes and light uh, rain showers. So we're going to test it out with my water hose here. Still works. Well, it passed the test, and that could be a good enough reason to pick up a flashlight. But here's another one. It's made in the USA and has a lifetime warranty. And Maglite has a good reputation for good customer service and honoring their warranty. They also have a great reputation for being accurate with the lumen numbers that they're that they're giving for their, their products. And this is a 100 lumen flashlight, which on the surface, you may think, oh, big deal, 100 lumens, that's not very bright. I've got an EDC flashlight that is 400 or 800 lumens. Well, the fact that this is a 100 lumen flashlight and it's a mag light, which means that you can be pretty sure that it is exactly 100 lumens. And you can use this as a benchmark to determine if your other flashlights are meeting up to their specs. All you need is a foam ice cooler and, and a light meter, or if you don't have a light meter, you can install a light meter app on your phone, and then you can use that to calibrate and benchmark your other flashlights. Whatever lux number you're getting for um, this 100 lumen flashlight, well, because it's 100 lumens, that's easy math if you're, say, determining whether or not this flashlight is outputting 450 lumens. That means it should be giving you a lux number that is 4.5 times higher than your mag light. And that is the same if you're trying to test out a 600, 800, 1600, or one of those Chinesium flashlights that claim to be 4,000 lumens. Well, then the number that you're, be, you're getting from your light meter should be 40 times the lux numbers you're getting for this. And if it isn't, well, you know that you're not getting good numbers. Here's another good number, 15. This thing is less than 15 bucks right now. So if you're interested in picking one up, I strongly suggest you do. Um, I'll include a link in the description below. And if you found this review to be helpful, please, again, Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Moondog out.